Matt Smith, uh, congratulations. Uh, an historic moment for the club, the first uh, A-League club to go back-to-back. -back. Yeah, obviously it's fantastic for the, for the team. It's fantastic for everyone involved, the, the manager, the, all the backroom staff and the club and the fans. It's um, the first to be done in the A-League and we're very, very proud of that. They came in as uh, rank outsiders tonight, but uh, came in with a different game plan to that which we've seen them uh, employ against you guys in the past. Did they surprise you uh, how how well they played over the opening 45 minutes? They uh, denied you a lot of space. Uh, the, the Christmas in passing that we usually associate with Brisbane wasn't there tonight. Yeah, they, uh, Perth certainly made, made it difficult for us. But, um, first half, they didn't let us get into, into certain areas, and that was one of the things which um, we said at half-time is that we need, to, we need to get behind them. We need to be a bit more um, forward with our passing and... and that's what happened second half. It looked uh, after they got the goal that it almost played into your hands in some ways. I mean, there was 25 minutes uh, still to play and, and they uh, seemed content to sit deep, uh, which uh, allowed you guys way back into the match. Yeah, I think um, if you look tactically over, over the course of the, uh, the full game, as soon as they got, they got their goal, I think that they were happy just to try and defend for the last half hour. And, and um, yeah, I think that that certainly played into our hands. I think that we, we had a lot, of, a lot of the possession and... Um, second half, we created a lot more chances, and I'm pleased that Best got his goal. He, he's been itching for that goal all season, and um, particularly with his finish on the penalty, I think that we deserved the penalty. I think over, over, over the course of the year, we've been a bit unlucky with him, but I was very pleased to see Best's going today. The decision before we get that, the decision to take uh, Eric and Mass off surprised uh, a lot of people, but allowed Thomas uh, maybe a more central role, and, and we saw that uh, in the build-up to the first goal, which was the one that got you right back into it. Yeah, I mean, every single person in our squad has played their part go, you know, building up until this grand final and um, we all know what Thomas can do on the ball and it, it was just a matter of trying to get Thomas on the ball so by by tweaking things a little bit that enabled Thomas to get on the ball and be a bit more creative. And the decision uh, of course that everybody's talking about is the penalty uh, I don't know if you've seen the replay I suspect you have because it was up on the big screen what was uh, your take on it? Yeah I saw the, I saw the replay and I think that um, for, for, from my opinion um, he certainly um, Took took Berisha off balance. He certainly caught his caught his foot, and um, obviously that was the reason f for the reason why he missed the ball. So that I was a long way I was a long way from it. I saw the replay, and um, as far as I'm concerned, it it was it, 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 it was a penalty. And that's football. I mean, we've had some decisions over the course of the season that have gone our way with penalties. Some penalties have gone against us. We've had a number of occasions where penalties that have gone against us. And and again, you know, people might talk about that, but they. They'll, they'll, they'll fail to forget the fact that we, you know, we still played our game plan, game plan, we still stuck to our structures and we still created chances. It's usually, of course, uh, Enrique that takes the pens. We saw Best miss one uh, earlier in the season. Uh, I guess there was no way, though, that uh, he wasn't going to take it and uh, more late drama in a, in a big match at Suncorp. Yeah, of course. I think um, that's how we do it. I think that's over the over the last two years we've had so many encounters where we've either drawn or we've got winners within the last five, ten minutes. And, and that's, that's a, a real testament to the squad that we have. And... Um, tonight was no different. We always kept pushing. We always know that we're going to create chances. And with someone like Bess up front and Thomas and even Fitzy and Jamo that come on, we always know that they're going get, to get themselves into, into some difficult areas. So um, when Bess got the ball, he was on the front foot, which showed he had a lot of confidence. So it doesn't matter. For me, it doesn't matter who took it, whether it's Henrique or Mitch Nichols or Eric Pardaloo or Bess, as long as they're confident. And, he done the job, which I'm really happy about. We saw Ange gather the players together on the pitch just a few moments ago. What was said? Yeah, basically, obviously, that's the the first AD team to create history. Um, his words were very similar to the words last year. Obviously, the achievement that we've we've had a we've been training now and going for just over a year, or just nearly a year. Um, we, we're back in May one, so it's been we've worked we've worked very very hard for 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 this moment. We worked very very hard for the Asian Champions League and. It was all about enjoying tonight, not drinking too much, and making sure that we can think we can think back tomorrow morning and, and know what happened. No retirement speech, no uh, moving to Melbourne speech. From no, of course not. No, of course not. So you'd like him to stay? Oh, of course. I mean, I think um, Ange and the management staff have, have really brought the philosophy and, and the culture to this club. I mean, we can only play football, but they tell us how to play. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Cheers, guys.